Okay. Um, now going to the Maya numeration system. So the Mayan civilization, uh, it existed in the in the parts of southern Mexico, as well as in Guatemala, Belize, and parts of El Salvador and Honduras. So we know the Mayans by their calendars, diba? We have heard of the Mayan calendar. They also have a hieroglyphic writing system and their numeration system. So the Mayans, they use three calendars, the solar, the ceremonial, and the Venus calendar. And of, of uh, utmost importance in our discussion is the solar calendar because this is the basis uh, of their base value system. So in their solar calendar, it consists of uh, 365.24 uh, days. So they also have some leap years. Okay? Every 24 uh, years. How, did they, uh, how do they uh, divide their months? How many days uh, are in their months? So, they have uh, 18 months that, that all have 20 days, which will total to 360 days. Tapos, uh, there is a, there's an excess of 5 days. There's a particular period, or shall we say month, that only consists of 5 days. And an additional 1 day every 24 years. So that's how they arrange their solar calendar. So as you can see here, uh, their calendar influenced their numeration system, which would involves, involve the numbers 18 and 20. So taking a look here, um, you can see here that they multiplied 18 and uh, 20 af, af, uh, after that uh, 20's place value. So at the start, they also have the 1's place value. 20 raised to the 0 is uh, 1. 20 raised to 1, that's 20s. So they don't have 10s, they have 20s. But uh, suddenly, they, they, they would multiply the remaining place values also by 18. And um, the, the exponent of for the 20s would, you would have to add 1 for each place value. So 18 times 20, the 360s. And 18 times 20 squared, the 7,200. And then 18 times 20 cubed, the 114,000 thousandths. That's how they arrange their place value system. They also have symbols, of course, uh, hieroglyphics. But in their case, they only have three symbols. So they have the dots, which represents one, a bar, which represents five and a conch shell a shell looking symbol which represents zero so if we take a look at this um it looks like they they would combine the three symbols to form other numerals from zero to 19 as uh, we can see here so it looks like the dots can only be repeated four times so one dot is one two dots is two four dots is four but the thing ng 5, you will use the bar. Okay? Uh, looking at the pattern, if uh, you look at 10, we have 2 bars. And if you look at 15, you have uh, 3 bars. For 6, you would add the 1 dot. For 7, the bar and the 2 dots. 8, the 3 dots and the bar, and so on. And then for 10, instead of 1 bar, uh, you would have 2. Okay? So how would they write uh, larger numerals if this is only from 0 to 19? They would write it uh, vertically like uh, the Chinese characters would the Chinese would do with their characters. But uh, the Chinese don't have uh, place values. Here, they applied uh, the place value in their arrangement. So for example, this remember this one is uh, the two horizontal bars that's for a symbol for 10, one bar and three dots. That's 5 and 3, 8, 2 bars, 10, and 1 dot 11. So the lowest, or um, the one in the, in the bottom, the symbol in the bottom, that is, that would be multiplied by the uh, ones uh, place value. Or that's in the ones place value, so you multiply that by 1. The second one from the bottom, that's in the 20s place value, so you multiply that by 20. 
The third uh, from the bottom, or in this case, the topmost, is uh, in the 360 base value. So you would multiply that by 360. So 11 times 1, 11, 8 times 20, that's 160, and 10 times 360, that, that's uh, 3,600. So if you add them together, that's 3,771. Now here you have four layers, no? That means umabot ka sa place value na 7,200. The topmost, you would multiply by that. So three dots is three. Conch shell, you have zero, uh, two bars and Two dots, that's 12. One bar is 5. 3 is in the 1, space value. So that's your multiplier. 12 is in the 20, space value. That's your multiplier. This one is at the 360, place value. This one is at the 7,200, place value. So 3 times 1, that's 3. 12 times 20, that's 240. 0 times 360, that's 0. And 5 times 7,200, 7, that's 36,000. So if we add them together, this would uh, result to uh, 36,243 in Hindu-Arabic. Okay, this particular arrangement is equivalent to that Hindu-Arabic numeral. Okay, let's practice. This is a symbol for 1. This is a symbol for 0. 3 bars and 1 dot. 15, 16. So we have 3 layers. That means... Uh, 1 is multiplied to the 1's, 0, multiply that by 20, 16, multiply that by 360. Um, this would uh, give us 1, 0, and 16 times 30 is 5,760, so the total is 5,761. This is the value of this um, Mayan numerals in Hindu Arabic. Okay, now in the case of letter B, this is four dots, so that's four, two bars, that's ten, one dot, that's one, and a bar and four dots, five plus four, that's nine. Okay, so the four we have to multiply by one, the tens we have to multiply by twenty. The 1, we have to multiply by 360. The 9, we have to multiply by 7,200. So 4. This one is 200. This one is 360. Um, 9 times 7,200 is 64,800. So if this is added together, we have 65,364 as our Hindu-Arabic um, equivalent of this Babylonian numeral, okay? Okay, what if um, we want to convert a Hindu-Arabic numeral into a Mayan numeral? We only have to do what we did a while ago in the Babylonian uh, numeration system. The process will be the same. So take note of our... Uh, the value of our place value, or if we express these exponents. So we have 1, since 20 raised to the 0, 20 raised to the 1, that's 20, 18 times 20, that's 360, and 18 times 20 squared, that's 7,200. So taking a look at uh, these expressions, the, sm the largest... Um, place value that we can use as a divisor for 7,495 is 7,200. Remember, what we're doing is we're counting the number of 1s and 20s and 360s and so on that is contained in 7,495. So if we divide this by 7,200, uh, it, it looks like we only have 1, 1 uh, 7,200 that can be contained in 700, uh, 7,495. So a remainder of 295 is what we are left with. Next, um, 360 is larger than this. So we go to the next one. 20. There are 14 20s in 295. And we have uh, 
a remainder, a final remainder of 15, which means that there are 15 um, ones in the Maya numera remaining. Okay, so how will we write that? This is it in expanded form. So we have 15 ones. So our symbol for 15 is this way. We have to write it vertically, remember. And then 14 20s. So two bars and four dots. Zero, 360. Remember, we didn't divide it by 360. So we used the conch cell. And one, seven, uh, thousand two hundred. So a dot. Okay. Okay, so let's try to do this one. Write 11,480 as a Mayan numeral. So 11,480. So if I divide this by... Okay, let's, let's first write our possible divisors, our place values. Okay? Uh, you can also see it here. So the largest that I can use as a divisor is... 7,200. Okay, um, I think there's one 7,200 here. If I subtract that, I will be getting 4,280. So I can't divide this by, no, 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 by 7,200 anymore, but I can divide it by 360. So dividing this by 360, so we have a 1 here, 428, I can divide by 360. Subtracting this, I will get 680. So I think I, uh, I can divide this by um, 2. Oh, no, I can't divide this by 2 since 360 times 2 is 720, only 1. So I'll subtract this by 360. What is left is 320. Okay. I still have a remainder, but 360 is too large for that. So I use 20 as a divisor. So 32, I can divide by 20. That's uh, 1 times 20. What I'm getting here is a difference of 12. I bring down 0. 6 times 20 is 120. So now I don't have a, a remainder. Okay, so what I'm seeing is I have 1, 7,200, 11, 360, and 16, 20s. 0 ones in 11,480. So if I'm going to write this, I will first use the conch symbol if I'm going to write this in Mayan numerals since I have zero ones and then I have 16 um, 20 so I have 1 2 3 that's 15 a dot for 16 and then I have 11 360s Two bars for 10 and a dot for 11. And then a dot for one dot. That means I have one in the topmost. That means I have one 7,200. Okay? Okay.